ain't got work for the next couple hours You're here from the back and rinse off in the shower I might be young, but I know what's up what's up b queen bees welcome back to another episode of b queen b real talk and listen i'm coming with a whole new flavor right now okay so i am getting ready to do a reaction video y'all and i just gotta do it because people have been sending me the link to the pastor who supposedly Okay, I don't know, spit on somebody or, or put some spit on him or, or did something. I, I don't know. So I'm here to do a reaction video right now. Y'all watch it with me. And uh, yeah, and then we're just going to take it from there. So I'll see y'all back in a minute. <laughs> and this is where... Most people would not face Jesus anymore. What most people would do is turn away. <coughs> what, what I'm telling you, what I'm telling you, it's just as he's physically standing here, knowing what's coming. God's saying, can you physically and spiritually and emotionally be able to stand? When getting the vision or receiving it might get nasty. I'm going to say it in a point just like that. Receiving vision from God might get nasty. You mean... God, I just bought, in crazy faith, I just bought my dream car. And now you're going to ask me to sell it back and ride in the hoopty again? Yeah, because the vision I'm about to give you, it might get nasty. And do you, do you hear and see the responses of the people? What, what I'm telling you is how you just reacted. It's how the people in your life will react. When God is doing what it takes for the miracle, what are you saying? This man was blind. And what he was trying to do with this man is give him his DNA. All right, y'all, let's get into this video. Can you say disgusting? Okay. That is probably the most filthiest, most nastiest, most disrespectful thing that I've ever saw in my life, baby. Okay. That right there really showed me a lot. Yeah, that, that, that right there, that showed me a lot. That, that showed me a lot about where people's mind is at. It showed, it showed me a whole lot. First of all, let me, let me, let me just, let me just go in. First of all, we are in the middle of, 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 of what they're calling a pandemic, sir. And you gonna have the audacity. First of all, that wasn't spit, that was phlegm. That's the first thing we better get put on the wax tonight. Yeah, that shit was white, okay? The average everyday saliva is clear. But but you 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 tried to go deep down into the belly and pull that one up. So I know I know you somebody that needs to be watched. We in the middle of a pandemic. And you gonna take some phlegm out your chest. And smear it and put it all in somebody else's face. Because you trying to entertain and make a point. 
Now you know you done ran out. Done ran all the way out. That was the most nastiest, most disgusting thing I ever saw in my life. And then all them folks sitting up in there, you can hear them gasping for breath. They 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 probably clutched their chest when he started all that damn speeding. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you, let me tell y'all something. Mm-mm. No, baby. Mm-mm. Ain't no way in the world I could have set up in there for the remainder of that damn service. No, buddy. When he, when he smeared that shit over that man's face, I, that, that would have been the moment right then and there. Baptist finger. And, baby, I would have had to say something before I left out of there. I would have had to call him a nasty motherfucker. I would have had to do that. Because that right there, that was, a, that was a clown show right there. You going to take your flim and rub it on somebody's face? And then, did y'all check out the man in the video? It was almost like he heard the man spitting, but the man's eyes was closed. Y'all saw that. His eyes was closed. And if you if you go back and watch it now, when that man was getting ready to spit in, spit in that, put that spit on that boy's face like that, you seen that boy take a deep breath because he was bracing himself for the bullshit he was getting ready to come. He was taking a deep breath like, okay, you can do this. You can, you know, but, but listen, it's a lot to be said about that. Because first of all, let's be clear about something. And I wrote some notes down, baby, because I, I got to get it out. I got, I got to get it out, baby. First of all, that was all ego right there. Because let me tell you something. I'm not serving no God. I'm not doing no hibbity hopping and be bopping and doing none of that. For a God that would put something like that in somebody's mind. Yeah, if if that God has put that in that boy's mind to smear, fling him all over somebody's face in a pandemic where all this, they say all this rona running all around, you can ba- bypass me with him, baby. Miss me, miss me, cause it ain't gonna happen. Yeah, to me. That was nothing but ego. That was nothing but ego. That was all him. He wanted to put on a show. He wanted to be Mr. Entertainer. He wanted to, I'm going I'm to really show him something this Sunday. And I guess he probably rehearsed that shit in his mind and really came up and thought that was a good idea to do. The majority of the people that accepted to me, they couldn't even watch the whole video. They couldn't even go through the whole video. Because they, they couldn't stomach what was getting ready to come. Whatever it was. Because just the sound of it was filthy. Now we we, 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 we getting too crazy in this country. We, we, getting, we getting way too crazy in this country. We'd rather be entertained. Than really look at something for what it is. And there's no justification in spitting in nobody's face. Point blank, period. Now, I ain't never fought with the little guy, but me being the type of person I am, I did look him up and I looked up some of the his sermons and some of the things that he liked to talk about doing his church service and just different things like that. That boy is an entertainer. Which is gonna lead me to my next point about all this foolishness. You got I went into the comment section and you had a whole bunch of people in the comment section talking about um, he, you know, he's a, he's, he's an anointed, he's an anointed preacher. And, 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 and I love, I love Mike Target and he, and he get the word and he just, listen, just because something make you feel good, you feel emotional when you hear, hear somebody talking about something, that don't necessarily mean what they talking about is necessarily good for you. So just because you can, just because he can draw out an emotional response from a crowd of people, don't make him anointed. That make him talented. Now it's time to break some of this shit up. Now we in 2022 now, and we got a whole bunch of foolishness going on out here. They talking about the the Corona and Rona and 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 Lerona and all these people and and Omniton and all these folks running around here. 
and you and you and we sitting up here uh entertaining somebody that's willing to put spit in somebody's face talking about he trying to do a depiction an analogy of of, of, of when Jesus put uh his spit in and in, in mud and in mud in somebody's face because I'm gonna tell you baby let me tell you I don't subscribe to it honey I, I don't and and, and 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 baby, I I be I be blind as Ray Charles if I let in, anybody rub they spit in my ass. I'm some can I see? Now if I can't if I if I'm not a powerful enough being that I can't take my own spit and rub it in my eyes and believe and have faith for that that I can heal my own self. Then baby, we just in, we through we through. Stevie one it is for the for the rest of the day. Cause that right there is that that if if that was his mindset that he was trying to paint a picture about that, you crossed the line, sir. Every line it is, you crossed it. And then let me tell y'all something else. It ain't it ain't just, it ain't just about him rubbing that spit all on that boy's face like that. It's something he said at the end. I wrote it down. Too. He said he said. This man was blind and what he was trying to do was give him his DNA. We find that in the find that in the Bible, baby. Let's find it in the scriptures now. Because let me tell you something. I I ain't I'm not even a Christian. Okay, I want to put that on wax right now while we while we while we talking about it. I I ain't I ain't no Christian, but I have I have uh at one point in time in my life, practice Christianity. Okay? So, I'm not unfamiliar with the word. So, let's be clear about that. And, I'm, 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 I'm finna show y'all something. Like, I'm legit finna, so, finna show y'all something about the foolishness that be going on and the reason why we gotta keep our damn eyes open. Because if you don't keep your eyes open, you see what happened to you. A nigga or wife is fleeing all over your face and talking about he trying to make a point about something in the middle of a pandemic and he being nasty and filthy too. Baby, I would have scrubbed him on the stage. Let me tell you that right now. Huh. Baby, come on, scrub the ground. Baby, that's what we've been going on. Scrub the ground, baby. Because you know you done went too daggone far. Too far. I'm going to tell you that right now. Now, let me go back to what I was saying because I found what I was looking for. So, listen. At the end of y'all go back and watch and listen to what that man said. I want y'all to listen close now, but I wrote it down. I'm going to tell you what he said, but I want you to go back and listen to what he said. He said, this man was blind, and what he was trying to do was give him his DNA. Well, now, sir, somebody lying. Somebody lying. Either you lying or 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 or, or God is lying in these scriptures. Psalms 139, 13, 16. When you said, For you formed in my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. Huh? Come on now. That's what it said. Jeremiah 1 through 5. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you was born, I consecrated you. Uh he he don't say nothing about. That man, that man sitting on that stage, or how? I ain't even talking about the man sitting on the stage. We gonna go back to, uh, we gonna go back to what you talking about in your in your scenario where you said he was trying to get a man's DNA. Well, according to the scripture, said that we got our DNA uh, before we was in, even formed in our mother's womb. So what is you talking about? Come on, do you need something else? What else you need? Huh? Hold on, let's go a little bit down further. Let's see if we can find something else. Uh, if, if God talking about uh, what's what going on about what you talking about, because it, whatever you talking about ain't matching in the scriptures. Yeah, when you said this man was blind and what he was trying to do was give him his DNA. Well, according to the scripture, we got our DNA before you, before we was yet formed in our mother's womb. So I call bullshit, Mike. You is an entertainer. You want to get the crowd and they feelings. And then, and then let me tell y'all something. We got to stop believing that getting a new car is all of this crazy favor and blessings from God. Anybody can get a new damn car. You know that, don't you? 
It don't take much to get no new car. They got plenty of uh, car lots all around here. Get your second, third, and fourth chances. All you need is your paycheck stool. They ain't even really going off the credit no more. So, I don't get overly impressed about no new car and this, that, and that, and that. But that's the analogy this boy used in this video, too. Let me go back to him. He used in the video saying, and, 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 and sometimes the vision that God is going to give is going to get nasty. Did y'all saw when he did that? And then he repeated it like he had really said something. Oh, yeah, 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 right there, right there. Sometimes God's vision will get nasty. You ain't talking about nothing. You ain't saying nothing. And that's the biggest problem that uh, that, that religion uh, and I'm and, I, and I'm speaking on Christianity uh, in particularly the major major problem that they have. Y'all allowing these preachers and these ministers to always be preaching unto you about. Whatever issues and problems and brokenness that you got in your life and brokenness or whatever it is going on, and constantly giving you uh they 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 gon they gonna beat you down first and let you know you got all kind of problems. I know you going through this and that, and then they gonna lift you back up, telling you to depend on a God that's outside of you. Everything that you need is inside of you. Y'all do know that, don't you? I mean, seriously. Now, now we we got to we got to cut the bullshit out in twenty twenty two. If we trying, if we really talking about moving forward and really, um, really trying to get some things in order, because as you can see, the world we living in is fucked up. So it's time to cut through the bullshit and just call a spade a spade, so that we can move on and and try to advance and evolve ourselves into a, a, a different uh, space than we in. And when you got situations like this, where a, a, a young man is an entertainer, because that's what he is. When I watch that, whether he likes to entertain, he's an entertainer. But when a person knows how to pull at pe people's emotional strings, look, I read in the comment section, little girl said, hold on, I wrote it down too. The little girl said, he does something we disagree with, and y'all start questioning the call of God on his life. Let's not be quick to conclude he is still an anointed preacher. First of all, we're going to break this up. We're going to break this up. She said he's still an anointed preacher. We, you know, we done took that word, and we just ran with it. Anointed don't mean emotional. Just because somebody can say something to you and get an emotional response out of you does not mean what they said to you was gold. It don't mean that it was true just because they was able to pull an re emotional response out of you. That don't mean anointed. That just means they talented. So we gotta, we gotta, we, we, we gotta get with the program. That right there for me... That that took it too far. That's that that, that that went way too far. That went way too far. That went way too far. And I, I don't know if that brother knew that he was gonna do that to him. Cause I couldn't imagine anybody signing up for somebody to rub phlegm all in a phase in the middle of a pandemic. Unless he a damn fool too. Listen, let me tell you something. I'm not finna love no God, no man, no dog, no nothing greater than I love myself. Point blank period. I don't care who you is. I wouldn't have been more signed up for no foolishness like that because you trying to prove a point to some folks than spin outside that door. Not in the middle of what y'all calling a pandemic now. Now if it ain't a pandemic, just say so. Because that right there, I, I'm trying to figure out why that ain't been reported on the news yet. Is it been on the news, y'all? Is it just uh, searching around social media? Work? Maybe I need to try to Google that. If if the pastor uh, who smeared flim all of somebody's face, um, has he made national news yet? Because that, that, that Negro should have made national news. With that, their foolishness. Woo! 
That's it. That's it. That's it right there. That's it right there. Mm -mm. We, we we far gone, bro. We far gone. We 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 way far gone. Mm -mm. I ain't no way. How can the people even sit up there and watch that and see it? And, and couldn't see that that's ego and that's pride. That's somebody that stepped into their own thoughts, their own mind, and they doing their own thing. See, some stuff ain't a mistake. Yeah, some stuff ain't no mistake. A mistake is when I walk around, ain't paying attention, I stood my damn toe. Ah! Uh! But what that boy did took a thought. And every before anything comes into action, it's always a thought in your head first. That's a thought that should have been dismissed. So what about if his mind gave him permission to think that that was okay? Because he, he had to think about that. Now this don't make no damn sense. Now we getting too far around here. We get, we get, we get too, we get too carried away. We get too far, honey. Trying to be entertained, you know. Now listen, if y'all in that bad of a shape, if y'all in that bad of a shape, y'all, y'all need to start doing some self healing or something. Because when you start looking up to a, a man that shit and put on his britches one leg at a time just like you. And when you get to the point where you 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 uh adoring him and loving him so much and want to just be an example for whatever he trying to illustrate and subjecting yourself to that type of unsanitary, unsafe, unhealthy, disgusting, nasty Child, please. I know you got to go need some. You need to get some self healing. You need to get some self healing. Because something's going on internally. I don't know what point you're trying to prove. And I don't know what you're trying to do. What you got going on. But let me tell you something. Anybody who loves and cares and understands. That they just as powerful. And just as, as, as spiritual. And just as, as uh, great. As the person that they believe. Asked him. Could he smear his phlegm all up in his face. Then honey. You in bad shape. Cause that right there, that was way too much for me. Mm -mm. No, honey. Mm -mm. So, woo! Now y'all know y'all did a doozy with that. I didn't know that this was gonna be my first reaction video. I really did. I really did. I really did. But listen. This, this is B-Queen be real talk. But we lay the cards down on the table. We call a spade a spade and an ace a ace. It is what it is. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Like and share. Okay? Because um, I'm coming with the reaction videos. Listen, I'm still on, I'm still on my tummy tuck journey. So I'm dropping vids on that. Okay? So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Until the next time. I'll talk to y'all later. Mm -hmm. I ain't got work for the next couple hours. You're here from the back there and off in the shower. I might be young, but I know what's up. You.